welcome to the Big Slice Meat Show. I'm joined this evening by a fantastic singer-songwriter, musician from Bolton. His name's James Holt. James, welcome to the show. Hello. It's great to have you here. I mean, I discovered your music three years ago now, is it? Is it that long? A couple three of years, years ago? ago, really? Two, no, maybe not that long. Two years? <laughs> Uh, I think it was probably about a year ago. Was it? Yeah, because you came to the Ruby Lounge. That's show. right. Yeah. Yeah. Time passes quicker for me, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Do you play most of the instruments on there? I know you've got two guys that you work with in the band as well, but do you do tend to lay a lot of the music down yourself? I find it easier just to kind of put myself in my own little world <laughs> um, and just kind of record, just kind of throw like whatever I can, like kind of. So I've got a blank canvas and just throw whatever musical idea I have on it and then kind of take bits out. Like yeah. you said, like like some I like some bits kind of sounding full but then kind of contrasting that with kind of really minimal um, parts. And, and pulling it back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, because it does very evident in whispers as well, though, I think, isn't it? It's got a bit more of a gentler feel to it with regard to that. But tonight you had Aiden on the drums uh, and you had Kieran as well mm. and they're just, just two lively characters. Have you been working with them long, have you? Or? Yeah, I mean, uh, I met the... I met them at Salford University when I was, uh, well, I'm still studying now, but when I was doing my BA. Um, um, and I can't remember when I, I was in a, like a Motown band with um, Kieran as part of a university project. And um, that's how I kind of met met him. And I think I just knew Aidan around and seen yeah. him play a few times. And he was a cool guy and he's got a very good sense of style. No, he has, he has and indeed. I figured yeah. if he was in my band, then maybe he could give me some tips. <laughs> style tips. You rock it, though. I mean, I've I seen oh. you at the Ruby Lounge, and there's a lot of energy there on stage. One of the biggest songs, one of my favourites, if, if I'm completely honest. I mean, I've just got into the new EP, which is great. Um, but it's Whatever Happened to John. That's probably the, it's the biggest song for me. I mean, do you enjoy playing that? You see, yeah. everyone goes a bit crazy, don't they, when you get that on? Yeah, yeah. It's always at the, like, kind of end of the set. And, um, yeah, people like that one. Um, I don't know why. I mean, it's just it's a great song. It's a great song, James. <laughs> yeah, simple. Should we, should, should we give him give him a view of it? Should we let him have a look? Yeah, let's let's have a tinkle. Fantastic. This is James Holt. Whatever happened to John? Hey, Bill, what kill ain't no way to stop Phil, but Jill. Train, try a bit of Noah Kane. Got pain in your brain. 
which I'm going insane. You've been in here far too long and all alone. Oh, Lord, they get to strike me before I get born. In love, in the wall, lying on the cut in front of That was, of course, James Holt. Whatever happened to John? That's a, it's an electric song, that. It's a great song, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're far too humble. You're far too humble, James. Oh, well. Um, uh, anyway, so we're going to talk about um, the next song you played in session with us. Um, so talk about that. Has that been out long? Is that, which EP is that on? Um, it's off my second EP, uh, Sanguine on the Rocks, and it's the title track of this EP, Sanguine on the Rocks. Did we get our teeth into it? Indeed. Let's do it. You were once were happy, but you played the host to a parasite in your arm. Oh, you're a dusty. What an absolutely belling track. I want to kind of rewind a little bit, actually, and talk about that song, uh, Whatever Happened to John. It's actually won an award and some recognition for it, isn't it? Brian Eno um, chose chose a song to be part of a, an arts festival called uh, The Noise Arts Festival. It's like a website and it's like a big online arts forum where people like artists, photographers, filmmakers, mm -hmm. musicians can throw, like, kind of put all the, like, material and creations on, on this website. For and people then, to access. Yeah. And then every year they do kind of a sort of an awards thing where they have like curators from all different kind of like filmmakers and mm -hmm. poets and whatever. And Brian Eno was the music cur curator. And um, 
yeah, it shows it shows my track to be kind of commended. It must be it must have that reassuring feel for someone like him, and you know something that's quite well respected to get that recognition for that though to give you a sense that you're going in the right direction. I think I actually I actually met him as well. He was given the John Peel lecture at the um, the British Library mm-hmm. in London and um, for BBC Music, and yeah, he asked me to come come along and uh, like kind of watch the lecture, and then. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't know if I was going to get a chance to meet him, but like at the like kind of drinks reception, um, there was like all sorts of like radio people there. Yeah. And um, like you know Sean Keaveney and uh, of Six Music and Charles yeah, Cocker. Of course, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was. I just kind of introduced myself to Sean and said, "Oh, hi, Sean." Um, you know, and I kind of like mentioned the Brian Eno thing, and then just at that moment, Brian Eno walked past, and Sean said, "Hey, Brian, come over here. Do you know this guy?" And he showed him um, my Brilliant. my EP. He said, "Oh, oh, have you seen this guy?" Yeah. Uh, and Brian looked at him and went, "Yeah, yeah, I recognise that." Oh, fantastic! Well, it's some recognition, you know. You go in the right direction. We're going to cut to a quick ad break now, actually. Anyway, stay tuned. This is the Big Slice Me Show. Still more music coming up after the break from James Holt. Get the camera. Welcome back to the Big Slice Move Show here on That's TV. I'm still your host, Paul, and still joined by James Holt. I listen to your music. How, where have your influences come to kind of get your music where it is? I don't know. I mean, it's something that you can't really think about too much when you're doing it because it will kind of drive you, drive you insane. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like what my songs mean. Like mm-hmm. when I'm writing songs, I have an idea of what what, it, what it's about, but like. When I've written a song and then leave it for like a year or two, and I always kind of find something else. You always shelved them yeah. and then came back to them. I always, I always find something kind of in them that I didn't realise at the time, mm. and it might have been something that was kind of reflective of what I was kind of feeling or going through at the time. Or do you reflect on on life situations or observational stuff, or um, how does it work for you? Like sometimes I, I like to kind of change it, like um, uh, a night on the Blue Mountain. Um, that's kind of like you'd say that's not really anything to do with my life because mm-hmm. the story is yeah. this guy goes all the way up to the mountain and um, as the legend says, when he gets up to the blue mountain to the top, um, he has the power to destroy the world um, and then that's that's what happens and then like in halfway in the song, you, you kind of, you see the explosion and so have you done a video to this? Have you done a... No, no, no. It's just kind of, well, well ha- kind of how I see it in my head. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> and, I'm um, there with you, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, like, because... Well, yeah, because you kind of feel it, because it kind of build, it kind of draws to this climax and it kind of drops down and then builds up again. And the, yeah. one, the line is, like, there's a rumble underfoot, you know, and this, like, the mountain, the blue mountain turned into a red volcano. It's, it's, it's a great vision, you know. I'd love to see the videos for, for that. Yeah, to be I mean, like a good animation video would be cool. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, so does Kieran and Aiden kind of influence the songwriting, or is it just you and you kind of structure the music as well, and they kind of come in and session, or how does it work with them? So, I mean, like the grooves, I kind of, um, I kind of give Aiden a kind of idea. So I might kind of say bo 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 bo, like kind of, <laughs> like kind of make a noise to what. Yeah, kind of groove I want. That was a bit weird what I just did. And um, <laughs> it, it works for Aiden, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah, but um, yeah, but it's like I kind of just give. I just kind of play it, and then they just kind of hear what. what and they set into yeah. a groove with it, and it comes yeah. naturally. Then, Fantastic. I mean, sometimes I've actually like recorded the song first, and then they've just kind of copied the track, like mm. whatever happened to John. And sometimes they've copied the track, but then added something else into it as well, you know. And built it up that way. Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, Blue Mountain's on your new EP. Yeah. Um, so obviously, is that available online? Phys- you got physical copies here? Uh, no, well, it's not It's not released. It's oh, not, is it not? It's not finished yet. I mean, that's kind of like the working title. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit of an exclusive. Um, I'm this not really, is a treat for yeah, us. Yeah, I've not released any um, information about it yet. So, oh, we're going to get our teeth in yeah, right into this. This is Blue Mountain. <laughs> this is James Holt. Deep for 
falling, opaque and infinite Brooding river reflects and builds what is true Loneliness The moon turns a mountain A shade of blue Solitary shadow marches through the mist Up and up he goes Pine tree whispering When I was totally tuned, that was an exclusive for the Big Slice Move show. That was Blue Mountain by James Holt. Tune that. I love the story behind it as well. It's, it's, it's magical, and mm. you've got to do. I mean, you got your two EPs out. You potentially Blue Mountains. You're looking towards the end of the year to release that, then. Yeah, hope so. I mean, like some tracks are actually, which some of the tracks which I'm thinking about putting on the um, on the EP are actually on my SoundCloud already. So if you want to have a sneak peek. On my SoundCloud, James Holt Music. There we go. Com. Give it a good plug. Yeah. That's what we want. Any gigs coming up in, in later in the year? Any festivals coming up in some time where people can check your music out live? Uh, I'm playing at Rams Bottom Festival. September. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll be playing on a Saturday. Um, what else am I doing? Where's the best place to find your music? Do you have a website or what, yeah. what are you most active on? Is it your Facebook or Twitter? Well, I'm active. Um, I've got a website, jamesholtmusic.com. And um, my Facebook is forward slash James Holt Music and Twitter forward slash James Holt Music. I know your do tour dates and gig dates are on there as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So the EP then, so you've got two EPs out. Are they available physical or download on iTunes? Or? Yeah, you can um, you can buy them physical from my website and you can get them on iTunes, Spotify and all those internet ones. <laughs> fantastic well James it's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show um, you know good luck with your music for the rest of 2016 uh, please come back to the show when your new EP is ready if you do it's a pleasure yeah thanks for having me on thank you very much oh no Tristan you gotta listen you have bits and more than you do Oh, it's all that you got, all I find the old to be is new. Oh, they 
smoke it like a joke You're October right to soon You say, baby, be the same Me feeling shaky and it's only you You're blowing in the wind Your poor youth and misunderstood You tried to do but but you sinned You turned sour and found power Crushed the flower of my love You better wipe your eyes and eat your lie The weeping sky, the morning You, your tears aren't enough, you better run. This has been James Hall. I've been Apollo, and this has been the Big Slash Move Show. We'll see you next week at 9 o'clock.